Hi, welcome to another Vidahoes video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Softaculous and how we can use it to install WordPress, a really simple blogging platform, onto our site. I'm going to open up my browser. I'm using Google Chrome on a Mac. However, this is all going to be web-based, so it doesn't matter what system you're using or what browser. I'm going to head over to cPanel. If you don't know how to do this already, it's simply your domain slash cPanel. So www.yourdomain.com slash cPanel. When you log in, you'll see this really nice, uh, really nice menu here, um, and we've got Vidahost quick links, um, designer list, um, invoices, useful things like that. Now we're going to head down to software and services. Softaculous is based here. Um, you might notice next to it, Fantastico. Um, it's a similar kind of thing. It will help you install scripts as well, and it's a program we've used in previous tutorials. However, Softaculous is um, newer and has just been installed in the last year by Vidahost. Um, it's a fantastic little bit of software that makes it easy for first-time users if they maybe don't want to install sites through FTP and databases, that can get a bit complicated. And it's also fantastic for more advanced users who just want to speed up their workflow. So as we can see here, we've got blogs already open, little drop-down menu if it's closed already, and we see WordPress. WordPress, though, has two possible installs. We're going to be installing WordPress Classic, um, but there's also WordPress MU. MU stands for multi-user. It's better suited for sites, magazine sites, newspaper sites, um, where you're going to have various people contributing towards it. However, I'm just going to be installing a normal version of WordPress. We're going to click on it, and this is what we see. We've got the logo up here. We've got script rating, as you can see, 4.83, pretty highly regarded by all Softaculous soft users. I've got a couple of current installations on the dummy domain. Um, from where I was trying out tutorials earlier. Um, however, we're just going to click install, and it's going to take us through to the install area. Now, the first thing you might notice is the protocol. Now, if you're a first-time user, you genuinely don't have to worry about this. 99% of the time, we'll be using HTTP. Um, however, if maybe you're looking at installing WordPress and using it for something more advanced, like an e-commerce solution, there are plugins to help you do that once you've got it up and running you can use HTTPS, and that's ideal if you want to show your users the site secure. Um, you need an SSL certificate to do that. Vidahost can supply them for you. Just get in contact with them, and they'll help you set that up. Right, as you can see here, choose a domain. I've got a couple of other domains on the dummy account. I'm just going to choose the regular one. Directory. Now, if you're a first-time user, maybe you're not familiar with all the terminology. All directory means is it's where it's going to be installed on the server. So let's say we want it installed and the only thing on the server. Um, if we make this blank, it will just be mydomain.com forward slash will take you straight to the blog. But I'm going to install it as WordPress blog. So if I go to mydomain.com forward slash WordPress blog, that's where it's going to be located. Database name, very important if you want to keep track of your databases, if you've maybe got one or two different things. Um, this is just WP579, it's, uh, 576. Uh, it's, it's just a predetermined, generated database. So, so if you're a first-time user, don't worry about that. If you want to keep track of it, change it to something that you're going to easily remember. Table prefixes, again, I, really important if you're looking to do really advanced things with it. Maybe if you're looking at having one database serving various things, you can customize this, you can run one or two WordPresses off it. This is much more advanced, and we'll be looking at this in later tutorials. So first time users, just skip over this. WP underscore, absolutely fine. Site name, exactly what it says on the 10. All we're going to call this is my first WordPress blog. Dead simple. Site description, Vidahost is great, or already in there. Um, and underneath we have admin username. I'm happy to call myself admin. Admin password. Pass, probably not the most secure password you could have. Now what you'll see next to it is a little key. We'll hit that, generates a random password. Really easy, and it's really important to have a secure password. Um, these kind of passwords with random letters and random numbers make it very hard for anybody to then hack into it in future. And literally all we're going to do is we're going to hit install, and it's dead easy. It will do all the work for you, and then hopefully in a couple of seconds it will return with your login area and where the site's now set up. Um, it's, it's seriously this easy to install WordPress, and the wonderful thing about Soft Softaculous is it's dead easy to install other applications, which we're going to look at in future. As we can see, WordPress is successfully installed. I'm going to open this up in a new tab. Um, up and running. It's, it's that simple. And we've got the admin area here, 
and you can log in with the username and password that you've just set up. Um, one thing to point out, which a lot of users maybe aren't familiar with, is let's say you're arming and ring over what blog platform you want to use or what e-commerce solution you want to use. So Tactless is brilliant because it's got this little feature here called Demo. Again, exactly what it says on the tin. You click it, it takes you to a dummy account. So as we can see, this is just a normal standard install. I'm going to click Login down here. Ooh, admin and Pass, as it says in the top right corner up here. I'm going to hit Login, and it's going to take you to a dummy account. So what you can see here is exactly what it looks like if you install your proper WordPress blog somewhere. But you can do this without ever installing it on your site, and you can do it for every single script that Softaculous has. Absolutely brilliant if you're not familiar with what you're installing and you want to make sure it's fit for purpose. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, there will be future tutorials looking at WordPress in more detail, so please check back if you're interested in how to use the platform. Thank you very much.